Afternoon, I'm Robert, LNER driver at King's Cross. I've been fortunate enough to be uh, on the 91 Locos for the last 25 years. Now we'll have a look around the engine room and the cab of a 91. So this is a 91 cab number one end and uh, we'll put the key on and start the engine up. So this is the power controller and then we've got the direction indicator there, so forwards obviously for forwards and backwards for reverse. There's where we put the key in, so obviously to start the engine up uh, we need to put the key in first and then um, work our way round from the left to the right, getting the train ready for uh, service. So we start here with the status panel and we check that all the lights are yellow no red lights lit up, that the parking brake's on, and then we'll walk, pan round, and then we see that all our lights are set up, ready to go, marker lights and headlights. And then we can see now we've got the bogey brakes, the main resin brake pipe gauges, and the air brake pipe, and the uh, speedo. At the minute we're waiting for the air to charge up. And then as we pan round, we can see the TPWS, and then the GSMR, and the associated uh, button that we've got here for uh, the ETS, contacting the guard, fire alarm, and pan up and pan down. We can now see that the brake pipe's rising. What we have to do now is pull back the uh, brake handle so that we can get the brake up to five bar. Now once we're up at five bar, we then do a continuity brake test. And then this way we check that the, uh, the brake goes all the way to the back of the train. And we can check that by doing the um, brake isolating switch here. So we go to isolate, round to continuity. And then we see that the brake pipe is now dropping. The bogey brakes are rising and then that way we can tell that we have a full continuity and that the brake test has been successful. Then we go back to isolate and then back to service. Once that's done, we'll then do a brake overcharge and that way we make sure that all the uh, brakes are then um, equalised and this way, this alleviates the risk of uh, dragging brakes. You can see now that the air brake pipe's risen up towards 5.5 and up to 5.4 there. And then we now wait for that to draw off back towards 5 bar. Whilst we're waiting for that to uh, Charge and then drop back to five bar. We're now going to the engine room. We've got the traction motor blowers, the fire alarm, the fire bells, and as we walk through, we've got the control cupboards coming up and some electrical cupboards there. This is the TDM panel that makes sure that the uh, front and the rear of the train are talking to each other. Got the big main res tank there. The TFDS panel there, making sure the lights are in green. Come down now towards the brake frame. We've got all the different brake cocks there, E70, and then the bogey uh, brake cocks there. This is 
the battery box and then we've got all the stuff for the uh, pantograph and this is the control cupboard we make sure the circuit breakers are in nothing's tripped all the lights are green this is the parking brake where we can see that the indication there, this is the true indication and the one in the uh, cab is like a relay of that. We're going to number two end cab, which is very similar to number one end cab. It's in the original old BR blue. These weren't refurbished when the 91s were refurbished, but everything else within the cab is exactly the same. We're back to the number one end cab now and we're just waiting for the air brake pipe now to get towards five bar. Then once we've done that we know that the overcharge has bled off there. So now the brake pipe's back at five bar. We can now put the brake controller into hold and then that allows us to take the parking brake off. Once those transient lines go to off, that's the parking brake off, and then we're ready to um, depart when the guard's ready to um, give us a tip after the signal's cleared uh, to a proceed aspect. So another unusual feature of a 91 Loco is we've got controls where the engine can be driven from a stand-up position. Uh, not too often that ever happened, I think I've done it twice, but this would only be shunting, um, which we didn't really do much with 91s with shunting. But these are the controls, uh, you can see all the different um, positions for that. And then you'd press down the button on this and then that would cancel the AWS, obviously, because we haven't got the AWS uh, cancel button there and then we've got dual control so they're both the same on the left and the right and then this is a GSMR that we're just going to set up now with this train's running head code 1 Delta 2 1 and then we're at platform 8 That's GSM all set up, ready for the journey of the 1603 King's Cross to Leeds. So that concludes the, uh, the tour of the Class 91 locomotive. If you enjoyed the video, click like and subscribe.